what Jesus said in our text. Whosoever believes in me will do the works that I have been doing. But he wasn't finished. For he went on to say, and they will do even greater things than these because I'm going to my father. And, and someone who may not know may ask, well, who is Jesus' father? And I'm glad you asked. Because, you see, I am a firm believer that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is my spiritual big brother. Which means that we have the same DNA. So that means we have the same spiritual father. So if we know who his father is, then we'll know who our father is. So tell me, preacher, who is our father? Well, to help me illustrate this, I'm reminded of a story I once heard about a little rich boy who wanted to brag to a little poor boy about what his daddy had. And he said, do you see that yacht sitting out there on the ocean? Well, that's my daddy's yacht. And you see that private jet flying around up there in the sky? Well, that's my daddy's jet. And do you see those cattle over there on the hill? Well, that's my daddy's cattle. And another thing, my daddy, he owns a mining company, and so far he has acquired over $10 million in gold and silver out of his mine. And after he said all that, he stood there proud as a peacock, thinking that he had made the little poor boy feel sad. But the little poor boy told him, you know what? That's all right, but my daddy is greater than your daddy. Because you see that ocean that that little tiny boat sitting on over there? Well, that's my daddy's ocean. And you see that big blue sky that that little tiny jet flying around in up there? Well, that's my daddy's sky. And my daddy on the cattle, not just on one little hill, but my daddy on the cattle on a thousand hills. And that little bit of gold and silver that your daddy has gotten out of his mind so far, well, that's my daddy's gold and silver because the Bible said all the gold and all the silver and all the earth belongs to God. So that's why I say my daddy is greater than your daddy. And I just wonder, is there anybody in here that feel like that little poor boy about your God? Because like that little poor boy, you know that you are a child of the living God. And he's the greatest king that ever lived. In fact, he is the king of kings and lord of lords. So that means your daddy is greater than any daddy in this entire universe. So that's, so that's why you shouldn't mind giving your daddy the praise that he deserves. So would you tap somebody and tell them, excuse me, I'm going to praise my daddy today because he's worthy to be praised. 